Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Anthazar, but y'all can just call me Anthe. <laughs> she likes to pick up mushrooms from off the forest floor. So she's perpetually high. I thought today would be kind of a casual day. I woke up with a headache, so I've just been taking it easy. It's kind of gone away mostly, but, you know, any sudden movements might <laughs> bring that sucker back. So <laughs> we're going to avoid that. So instead of just kind of sitting and relaxing the day away, <laughs> I still wanted to get something done and film it. And I've been excited for the past few days about this story idea that kind of revitalized my brain. I thought about it a couple years ago and I wrote it down in a document and then just closed it and never looked back. <laughs> I think I've opened it a few times and looked at it, but it's kind of fun because it takes some generic fantasy chosen one tropes. Hang on. There is another dog walking outside my window and I really don't want Zelda to go on a barking spree. Okay, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> no barking sprees for me. It's fun because it has all of these usual fantasy tropes, but I kind of toss them out on the air. <laughs> so it's like the small synopsis is this world has a reincarnation cycle of hero and dark lord, and the hero always has to go collect seven relics to destroy this dark lord for some dumb reason. There will be a dumb reason or some kind of reason. Maybe it'll make it a smart one. I don't know. We'll find out later. We'll get there. But this time around, the hero is not male. It's a female. And so nobody really likes that. <laughs> then she goes along this journey with a ragtag team which I know one of them, and I freaking love her, I can't wait to say. But she goes on this ragtag adventure to collect the seven relics. Except, as she collects each relic, she gets memories of the Dark Lord's past. And she begins to have her heart softened towards him. But the ending will not end in a normal, oh, she thinks that she can change him and save his soul. I don't know. I'm just kind of excited because I'm going to do some funny twists to it. And it is not a romance, so you can at least expect that. <laughs> My new favorite character is this archer who is a sniper. And she is a bit of a klutz. And the first interaction that I thought of was the main character was like, so so you've killed a lot of people then? Oh yeah, loads. So you've you've gotten your targets quite often then? Oh no, never. Not not very no, never done that. But I killed loads of people. <laughs> the dear girl misses a lot. <laughs> and because she trips so much, she likes to pick up mushrooms from off the forest floor. So she's perpetually high. And so anytime in a conversation, she's like, oh, look at the pretty butterfly. I didn't know butterflies glowed like that. <laughs> so I feel like I'm going to love this girl so much, so much. I love this girl. She doesn't have a name yet. Nobody has names yet. <laughs> but kind of the title that I've been playing with is called Memory Relic, but... We'll see if that stays. I want to do some outlining for that right now. And I think I'm going to do it in a notebook because I want to limit my screen time. But how's that working for you, Anthe? Is that working for you? I don't know. You're staring at a screen right now. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's do some writing, shall we?
So I spent some time writing and I outlined the first two and a half chapters. I'm pretty happy. Yeah, I have the beginning kind of set in my head and I actually have what I want for the ending. So I'm excited for that. And I'm going to slowly work on this alongside of my video making and my weekly posting of the marked heroes because that takes first precedent but it's fun to also work on another project so i'm happy about that <laughs> i thought about posting more often with the marked heroes because more people will see it then on royal road if i'm posting more often makes sense but i came to the realization that if i post more often during the week, then I will not have time for anything else. I will, it'll just be the Marked Heroes, which is fine, but in a way it's not. I want to be able to have time to work on other projects, and I think I am a multiple projects author, <laughs> which is fine, It's that's totally fine, but that's what I'm seeing. I think I would like to outline this story and maybe do it for the April NaNoWriMo. It just depends how long it takes me to outline it. It shouldn't take me two months, but you never know how long it'll take me to do this. But yeah, it's kind of nice to slowly outline this. There's not a lot of stuff at the beginning stage, so sometimes it's a little weird trying to outline stuff. You're like, I don't know everything. Well, <laughs> duh. My outlining style is really just dumping all of the scene ideas that I have for that opening chapter. I kind of know where I'm going to have, like, the rising action. Adventure stories are rather easy to kind of outline, I think. <laughs> because I already know that there's going to be rising action and trying to collect all seven relics. And then, you know, the final battle as they come to the Dark Lord's lair, or wherever that is. Or if it's going to be a lair. Or <laughs> could be an apartment. <laughs> it's going to be one of those <laughs> stories that takes itself seriously but not quiet you'll be like wondering and questioning everything is this really just a joke the whole way are they hmm we shall see we shall see i want other characters in her party and i don't know what who and what they're gonna be but yeah we're definitely keeping the archer the clumsy high archer who kills lots of people but nobody who she's supposed to it's gonna be so much fun I can't wait. Uh, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> I love that kind of character. <laughs> Alright then. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye! <laughs>